Mr. Stark, uh, you have been described by some as a da Vinci for our time. What do you have to say about that? Uh, da Vinci, uh, ridiculous, I don't paint. Oh, and what do you have to say about the fact that Stark Weapons is responsible for millions of deaths since World War II? Oh boy, let me guess. Uh, Berkeley, Ms. Miss Summer, uh, and it's Brown. Okay. Well, uh, listen, Ms. Brown, it's an imperfect world, but it's the only one we've got. I assure you the day weapons are no longer needed to keep the peace, I'll happily transist to manufacturing bricks and beams for baby hospitals, making hemp pants and the like, but until that time, can I get you a drink? Uh, you rehearse that much? Yeah, every night in front of the mirror before bed. Why, is it stale? Well, I can picture that. I could show you firsthand. Sorry, I don't laugh at your jokes. I haven't been paid to like all the DOD fat cats in this place, Mr. Stark. Sorry, stick around. You'll be on payroll soon enough. Call me Tony. I'm sorry, Tony. I was looking for a more serious answer. Okay, you're serious. My old man had a philosophy. Peace by definition means having a bigger stick than the other guy, so I feed the good dog. We arm the good guys because you can be sure as shit someone's arming the bad guys. Nice justification coming from the guy selling the sticks. You mean my father? My father, who was commended by FDR for working on the Manhattan Project, who helped defeat the Nazis? Well, others call it war profiteering. This is a rhetorical question, no need for a response. Tell me, do you plan to run any pictures of all the millions that we've saved by advancing medical technology or kept from starvation with our intellicrops? Or are you going to ignore all those advances that were spawned from military funding? Wow. <laughs> Wow, you really have all of this down. You ever lose an hour of sleep your whole life? I gotta tell you, is that thing wrong? You're never gonna get me in the sack with that attitude. Crudite? <laughs> Mark. <laughs> okay. Done. Done. You're still Buckingham Palace. What do we got? <laughs> But I gotta break out the psyops. There it is. There's a smile. It's okay. Yeah. So it's natural. Less less muscles to smile. Seriously. I gotta hand it to you guys. Every single one of you deserves a medal. I shit you not. Thank you, Mr. Stock. Please call me Tony. I mean seriously. Here you are. You're sweating balls in the desert. You're fighting for our freedom back home. And it's it's ghastly. The conditions. There's not a woman in sight. I'm a woman. Yes. Clearly. Although I I retract that statement. I'd like to admit that. <laughs> Guys, I would kid you back home. I got him in rotation like pitchers. What do you got? What do you got? What's getting you through the cold nights, huh? Don't ask, don't tell. Did... Jimmy met a goat. He did. Hey, 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 you know, at least it's a girl, okay? You know what? That's, that's jealousy. Can you smell that? At least you're a one goat man. It's hard to come by. <laughs> I'll kidding aside. There's a lot of us doing well back home. We owe a tremendous amount to your sacrifice. I know, I'm just the schmuck in the suit who's gonna take off in a helicopter in 20 minutes, but it's not much I can do for you, but I'm gonna show you a good time. That's something I'm highly decorated for. That's good enough. I got something special planned for you boys, girls, back at the base. Okay. If there's one condition, you ready? Okay. Will you comply, soldier? Sure. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, you get first dibs on the petting zoo. You like that? Sometimes they don't hit. That's all. I'm out here. I'm shooting. In my own special way. And action. So who else knows about this? Nobody. Well, as always, there's a chance Pepper might know. I would probably think, yeah, Pepper knows everything. Yeah, well, this is quite a feat of engineering. It should be, yeah. Real breakthrough is the power supply the rest just kind of built itself. I tell you, uh, if you made a couple of these oh, for the geez. military, I can probably make all those problems go away. Now, Dice, you know if I hand this over five years, we'll be fighting against these things. I fucking disobeyed a direct order. Was that what I did? A direct order to keep them from blowing you out of the sky. Next time I may not have that same result. Maybe next time you scramble F-22s against me, I just might not play defense. Are you threatening me? Weapons that I built are being used to kill innocent people. Can't let that happen. It's my problem. I'm gonna take care of it. God damn it, if you start invading sovereign airspace and waging a personal war, it is my problem. How about problem. the fact that this whole country's about to have a big problem and no one seems to give a shit? It's 
complicated. Is it? Not for me. I can make a choice. I can fight for what's right. Tell me, Rhody, if you were me, would you sit on the sidelines? Could you live with yourself if you did? I know you. Yeah, that's right. You'd do something about it, too. It's not up to us to decide. You heard that, right? That's where you're wrong. I'm gonna get back to work. See yourself out. You remember the door, right? <laughs>